Vancouver boy by birth, and I was fortunate enough to go to Vancouver College, but I didn't appreciate football early on in high school. I was a soccer player. Now, as I got through high school, I got bigger, and I kind of outgrew soccer, and at the same time, I thought I could get a little bit more exercise, so I joined football. They were eager to have me out. I was a big kid. I had a good body, and I impressed them with how awful I was. I mean, I played out the season, done. All right, I tried it, not my cup of tea. And that spring, the football coach for the varsity team, Todd Burnett, he's still there coaching the Fighting Irish, he got me into the weight room every single day after school. I went from being lost on the field to being one of the biggest, strongest guys out there. And then I started getting noticed by American universities. Well, again, I owe a lot to Coach Burnett for getting my film out there. He knew the system, he knew how recruiting worked, he got my tape out everywhere, and he tried his best to work through different networks to find where he had a connection, where he could develop a connection to make sure that my film got watched. And we actually had a connection down to the O-line coach at LSU through Farhan Lalji, of all people, of TSN fame. They brought me down for an official visit, and I'd never seen anything like that in my life. Now, besides just playing for their football team, I actually want to show you a quick picture here. You had some killer hair in your university days, appropriately nicknamed the mullet. Well, the hairstyle, the mullet, actually came about in my grade 11 year. Uh, one Rob LeBlanc, quarterback for Vancouver College at the time, cut the original mullet, and I sported the short long, you know, business in the front, party in the back, for the next three and a half years. So some killer hair throughout your university years. Also playing for quite the killer team. Well, going to LSU was a huge step up, obviously, from high school football in British Columbia in general. Now, Vancouver College, the Fighting Irish, we played in an incredibly high level, but I hadn't necessarily faced competition at a similar level, and that's what I ran into at LSU. Now, 2003 and 2004, you were also named SEC Academic Honor Roll. Well, I went down to LSU to play football, but also for an education, to earn a degree. And I was very lucky that LSU had such a great student athlete support program. I took advantage of the fact we had a great study hall. We had tutors available for all of our classes. We had class checkers who kept me honest. Although I didn't really need it. I went to almost every single class, rarely skipped a day. I paid a lot of attention to the real reason that I was there, which was to go to school. The 2003 and 2004 Academic All-Star really played a role later on in life. You were named 2012 Canada's Smartest Person by CBC Network, and you also appeared on Jeopardy. And I had a friend who encouraged me, and I thought, well, I might go embarrass myself. And then I thought, well, you know what? Why not? What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is I don't get on the show. And before I knew it, I'd won the thing, and I was giving Jerry D a big hug, and we had confetti falling down and balloons. It was fantastic. Now, Jeopardy, that was another really exciting challenge, and I got to meet my hero, Alex Trebek, in the flesh. And then I was back to football. I had a great home here in Hamilton. After my third season, I'd played out my first contract. I chose to stay here in Hamilton again because I wanted to stay here. I wanted to stay in the season, in the system, because I saw the development that was going on on the team. I saw the direction we were going. I could feel it. Now, I'm a tiger cat in my blood. I've played for this team, I've sweated for this team, I've really gotten hurt for this team, and I can't wait to win a cup.